this however is not going to be one of those i currently don't have the thigh strength to do 100 squats a day so your girl is going to baby steps this thing i did 50 squats every day for a week in order to work my way up to at some point doing 100 squats that's me that's my beautiful body i love you body so i'm mainly doing this challenge to work on my thighs that's my favorite part of my body but let's not forget this booty though all i ask for my booty is to show some enthusiasm okay so it's day one Ooh, it's hot like i'm sweating even before the workout it is not a good sign you guys it is just that hot okay guys i was trying to put on this workout outfit and yeah it just got me hot and bothered yeah i'm just gonna start the 50 squats now and just hope for the best you know i was really struggling with my squat form here yeah i'm just gonna use a chair to help me i don't think my form is correct like i am actually struggling i know it's like one squat that was one though shortly into the workout i realized that your girl was not ready i don't think i'm doing it right you guys oh my god side pull so i looked into whether i can actually squat using a chair well it turns out that this is a perfectly legit way of squatting there are even youtube videos to show you how to do them so don't be shy sis grab your chair and squat along with me we're in this together 50 squats doesn't seem like that much even i was like this is pretty chilled i should be able to do it but as we can see i played myself my thighs were one with the bird. My thighs were barely holding me up. <sighs> we're done, day one. On day two, I expected my thighs to hurt a lot, but they didn't. They just felt a little bit tense. Even with the chair, your thighs still feel the burn. So try to remember why you started this challenge in the first place and that will keep you going because you will feel the burn and you will want to stop, but don't do it. I also wanted to note that I was feeling the burn mostly in my thighs and nothing in my butt which was really concerning because like seriously but though like where what are you doing I mean it is but it is but like why though like I want my butt to also feel something but it was feeling absolutely nothing it was all thigh all day Day two's done. Literally, I sweat that amount. It's a lot of sweat, okay? <laughs> so I totally procrastinated doing my squats today and it's midnight now but i was thinking of having to do 100 squats tomorrow and i was like oh hell no in all honesty i should have changed into some workout stuff but the level of laziness was high tonight so forgive the setup it's not cute but it got the job done kayla was still feeling the burn with these squats it's okay to take a break and lean on the wall for a second if you have to. Do whatever you have to do to make sure you can keep on going. Just keep going, sis. I missed yesterday. I just procrastinated until I didn't want to do it at all. So today I have to do 100 squats and... I I also procrastinated during those because a hundred says like I'm usually finished by 50 so now a hundred I'm going to do it since I know I'm going to sweat a lot I'm making myself a little protective head here to stop the sweat from getting into my eyes and just blinding me this is pretty easy to make it's so effective or you could just buy the sweat band if you have the coins and now that we have protective gear We've got this. Ah, ah. Why am I already sweating? Like I feel like my eyelids, it's just really hot in this room. Most days I'm mentally prepared to do 50 squats. Doing 100 squats is something I only thought I'd be doing like a while later. I had to power through the first 50 squats like a warm up. Speaking about warming up, I should definitely start doing that. We did! We did number one! We did the first 
first round not bad at all let me power it see that one <sighs> round two i've never done more than 50 squats so you're witnessing a first time for me i'm flexing on myself right now look at me go yes Ooh. 100 squats done wow again not that bad but like the star of the day is this makeshift sweatband she came in and saved the day because i would be drenched in sweat by now I was beyond done on day six. I did not want to do this. I was so finished, but I decided to just power through because you're on the second to last day, just finish. I was feeling fine. I just did not want to do these squats, but hey, there we are doing them. And I'm glad that I persevered and I just kept doing it. So this is the last day of my squat challenge and so I'm just feeling like really hype and like motivated and like I did a whole week excited. Okay, let's just do the squats. I'm working on overcoming the habit of not finishing things. So the fact that I was able to finish this goal of doing 50 squats every day for a week is something special to me. It's something I don't want to do but I pushed myself to doing it because I know it benefits me. Doing this has helped me build the confidence to do 100 squats and also to do other hard things I feel so much stronger now not only in my thighs but like in myself like I can do things <laughs> I can't wait to see the results like even if there aren't like significant results I still made so much progress I committed to doing something and I did it for me that's always like the main goal is to keep my promises to myself but like I want to see these results though I'm seeing like the slightest difference. It's not really a huge difference, it's just very small differences. The only thing I can really see is like the slightest minute small uplift in my butt, which is like what? Okay, girl, and you actually did something then? And that was just from 50 squats a week. Who knows what will happen if I do a hundred squats. I'm just glad to see a difference in my body even if it's a slight difference. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see the results of a hundred squats because that video is coming soon. Ciao fam!